Hello everybody. How are you? I hope you all are fine there. As you all know, today's world is a computerized world and each and every type of calculation is done on computers or on calculators. So today also we are just going to see how to make use of sum and percentage in Microsoft Excel. So let's start with the slides. Now, first steps to follow to do the sum is you have to make use of the data. You have to enter the data and then you have to enter the formulas. And to calculate the sum, you have to make use of the formula is equal to sum bracket with cell address colon cell address. And then you have to make use of autofill handle to drag and drop. This similar thing we are just going to do in the practical session also. So let's start the practical session. So in the practical session, we are just going to see how to calculate the sum function. Now here this is a sheet of Excel, right? Now in this Excel sheet, we have just taken the name of some students and I have the marks scored by these students. As you all know, ki we have to calculate the sum. So I'm just going to make a use of formula over here. Now let's say I'll just come over here first of all. Now first thing on the first student name, first of all I have to say ki is ki range kaun si hai. Now the range of Sudesh is, it is starting from B column to F4. Take B4 se lekar F4 takar iska sara data pada hua. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these numbers. Now how will I add these numbers? To add these numbers I have to make use of the formula. Now formula may I'll just write is equal to whenever you are writing the formula you have to make use of equal sign is equal to sum bracket may I'll write B4 ratio F4 take it and then I'll close the bracket. Now when I'll close this bracket and enter press enter key I'll just get this answer. So after when I'll get this answer, I'm just getting one autofill handle. Now what I have to do is I have to make use of this autofill handle. I have to drag this. Okay? When I'll start dragging this autofill handle, I'll just go on getting the other results also. Okay? So this way you're just saying I'm just getting the or some function by making use of the autofill handle. Once if you have given the formula, the other things can also be automatically get done. Okay? So similarly, you can find the percentage also. Now, now the next step is to calculate percentage marks. Now to calculate the percentage marks, you have to make use of the formula is equal to marks obtained over total marks into 100. Now this is your practical session for the percentage marks. Now let's say here you have written the formula after writing the formula, when you will just drag and drop this autofill handle, you will just go on getting the other percentage also when you have applied the formula. So it's a very simple way to calculate sum and percentage marks. Whenever you want to calculate sum and percentage marks, you can make use of this formula and you can just do your work in a quick way, right? So just practice this session also. And after doing the practice, you can just apply it anywhere, wherever you need it. Okay? So I hope the target is clear to you. So stay safe, stay healthy and happy learning everybody.